Hey guys, I'm Ola England and today I'm going to try out the new bias head from Positive Grid. Now you might wonder, what the hell is this thing? The bias head is a 600 solid state watt guitar or bass amplifier where you can basically design your sound from scratch or even matching existing amplifiers. It comes with 25 tweakable preloaded presets but if you integrate it with the bias amp software you can design your own amp from top to bottom changing what type of tubes preamp and power amp electronics, transformers, etc. to create your own amplifier tone. You can also match an existing amp you have and download already existing amp mods using Positive Grid's own tone cloud sharing tool. So this sounds almost magical but let's delve into it a bit more by checking out the routing possibilities. And at the back you have the speaker output various direct outputs for example if you want to record direct or go straight into a mixing console MIDI in, out and through foot switch inputs you have headphone output effect loop send and return USB etc. Now let's look at the front again and all the knobs and uh, even if you can control everything through the software app on your computer your iPad or your iPhone you still have a lot of controls that reminds you of a real tube amplifier at the front with some added features. You have the traditional gain, bass, middle and treble, power and presence and the master volume knob. And here's the overall output. But then you also have a couple more parameters you can change on the front panel like the amount of tube stages, tube distortion what type of topology, etc. So you don't have to use the software to use the bias head but if you want the full-fledged tone shaping capabilities you should definitely couple it with the software. The bias amp app is really easy to use and you also have access to the tone cloud so you can download tons of user presets including mine from this video. Another cool thing is the custom knob over here by default it's set to control the noise gate threshold but in the app you can set it to any parameter you want. Here's a little toggle switch that uh, lets you turn on and off the cab simulator. For example when you power a guitar cabinet you will want to switch off the cab simulation. While well, maybe when going direct to a PA or a full range speaker you will want it to be on. So how does it sound? I made a couple of presets, two metal rhythm sounds one lead sound and one clean sound. And in the effects loop I'm using an Earthquaker, Devices, Reverb and Delay pedal. Another feature if you're using the bias amp application is that you can tone match an existing guitar tone and use it in the bias head. Inside the app there's the match function 
and I'm gonna try it and see how it works out. So here I have a rhythm guitar for one of my feared albums. It's a Randall Satan amplifier through one of my cabinets. So what I do is that I start off by sampling my bias amp tone. I would create a preset that sounds as alike as possible to my Satan. And after that, I sample the tracked Satan recording. And when that has been done, Bias will be able to match the tone using the recorded Satan as a reference. And it sounds like this. Pretty cool, huh? This preset will be available for download in the Tone Cloud. So in conclusion, the Bias Head is a great product. It's small and easy to carry around. And what I really like about it is just that it's simple to just plug and play. It's easy to set up a sound, even if you have no idea what the different parts or components do in the BIAS amp application, you can just simply use one of the already built-in amp presets and work from there. Or just download any of the thousands of user presets from the Tone Cloud. It's nice to see that products like this one is coming out and giving the Kemper, the Axe FX and the Line 6 Helix a run for its money. For more information about the bias head, check out PositiveGrid.com. See ya! Bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to interact with me, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See ya!